right super early well eight o'clock I haven't even got yesterday's vlog up interns here Good morning we're going to Rice Lake to try to have a glimpse of the Prime Minister ice fishing I kid you not the PM himself is ice fishing on Rice Lake in about 20 minutes we need to see this all right how do you feel about seeing the Prime Minister as a young person you know anything about the Prime Minister? Not a whole lot. I know I can vote, that's about it. <laughs> He's, uh, and th that's it? Do you think many, most people your age don't know very much about politics? Um... I don't know very much about politics either. I think so. There's yes. not there's not many people that I've talked to that would even really bother to go vote. Like, myself, I didn't vote. Interesting. But, yeah. Well, it's kind of cool regardless to see the Prime Minister of Canada in our local area, so you gotta check it out. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, we're in Beardley. What's going on, man? Not much, but my minister. Exciting news. Amazing how many people showed up to this shindig. Yes. There's more cops here than I've ever seen in my life. OPP, RCMP. Beardley has not put this bump in, in a long time. This is happening in place today. All right, OPP are asking them all to get back. Justin must be on his way. I'm really surprised how nice these uh, officers are dealing with our prime minister. I don't feel the Secret Service would uh, you know, let us all hang around Obama like this. Could be wrong though. Look at the people. <laughs> all right, here he comes. Siren, he's got some fans. The mob rush, me. Security is terrible. inside to drink coffee at Rhino's. We're on the road. Look at these things. That guy's got a sweet job. Morning. Hey, good day, sir. You too, thank you. Too cold to stick around. We've got to go make moves. Business day here at Fear Vision. Just uploaded the vlog. Grant, good work morning, running the camera. Thanks, man. Saw Trudeau, experience that'll last forever. <laughs> Snowing out here again. In Ontario here, it snows, and then it gets to plus four rains, then uh, we start over again. I think this is like the 12th time we've started winter. It's sloppy when it goes away too. It sucks. Okay, Grant, you have a great day. I've got to go do errands for Amber before she kills me. <laughs> drive safe, <laughs> man. Yeah, drive safe. I can't see you back there. Bye. No speeding. Straight home, kid. <sighs> Grant did a great job this morning. We got some good footage. All right, we did all Amber's running around. I was at home, caught up on some office, kind of administrative, boring stuff all afternoon. And now I'm off to the post office to mail out some packages that have to go out. Then it should be the weekend and Amber should be home. I'm really hoping that we're all going to the boat range tonight. It's Friday, let's hope it's boat range day. All right, we're going to the post office. It's been a pretty exciting day. First, we get to see Justin Trudeau at Rice Lake. I hope he went ice fishing, that'd be bomb. And now I just received an email from Ron James of Fish TV, sounding, sending out some kind words. That's super cool. When I was a kid, I watched a ton of fishing shows on TV. I even recorded them on like an old VCR tape so I could watch them over. And Fish TV was one of them for sure. So thanks for the shout out, Ron, and here's to you. Right, we're at the range Friday night, date night at the range. Got home from doing all the running around and then spent some nice quality time together, hanging out at the house, amazing dinner. And now we're at the range to shoot some plastic turkey. What, what? As you can tell, I shaved, looking fresh. My bow is way off. Look at this, way, way, way to the right. I'm 
feeling a little better about this now. Dead turkey. We came, we shot, we conquered. I can't believe this place is unpacked on a Friday night. Nobody here. The dead silence of the echo. It's really too bad. More people should be getting out to their local bull club and shooting. It's an amazing time. Let's fill these lanes. Get out there and shoot. Right, I just got home from the bull range, swung by the Little Caesars, and I hooked myself up with some pizza, waiting for me upstairs. Kind of a crazy day, I'm not gonna lie. Seeing Justin Trudeau in Rice Lake, agree with his politics or not, and, and we're, we're really not going to get into politics on fear fishing. It's kind of cool to see the Prime Minister in, in like, lo in your local area. The people of Rice Lake, beautifully, seem pretty pumped for Justin to stop by. Good or bad? <sighs> I don't think there's any politician who's got it all figured out, no matter what side they're on. It was kind of cool to see the Prime Minister. Things I noticed about this, we're pretty lax on the whole, like, Secret Service, RCMP, whoever's watching that guy. I can't believe how close they let people get to Justin. I can't, when he came out of the car, people, like, swarmed him, and then they were, they got asked to move back. I, I got a feeling that they wouldn't let uh, Obama or, or the Trumpster, you know, get out of a car like that, and I'm pretty sure there'd be a lot more guns. It's kind of different in the United States, is, you know, a little crazier than it is up here, but it wasn't that long ago we had somebody rush into the parliament buildings and start shooting. It was pretty lax. It, and, you know, I, I kind of feel good that, you know, we're still in a place in Canada where the prime minister can roll out of a car. He has, you know, people were really close. You know, the restaurant was packed with people. He walked through that gangway into the restaurant where, you know, everyday Canadians were just there to shake hands and, and say hi to the prime minister. I think it was, it was actually really cool. I'm glad that it, it's like that here. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to try to get some ice fishing in in the afternoon. The problem is I've been reading reports and messaging people and I, I would have went to the Bay of Quinney, but I heard from a bunch of people that the ice is good and then I heard that the ice is, you know, four inches at best and it's a toss up. With all that rain, it's cold out now. You know, ice fishing is safe when the ice is thick. There's always a chance of going through, but when you get like into the eight to 12 inches ice, it's pretty safe to be walking out there. This year, it's hot and then it's cold and then it's hot and then it's cold, so there's a lot of pack ice. If you don't know where you're going, stay off. Or, or if you're, you really, really have to fish, make sure that you, you get some good advice from people who've been going out. Don't just rush out there. I did that when I was younger and man, things could have went terribly wrong. I think as you get older, you, you, you learn to play it a lot more safe. You, your risk factor gets a little more in check. I had a great day, was awesome, got a lot done, feeling good about things. We're going into Saturday. Sunday night, we're doing a webcast live on Facebook. Get the guys together, chat it out on the podcast. Pumped about that, should be a great weekend. I hope yours is stellar. You'll be watching this on Saturday. I hope your Saturday morning, amazing. Please take a second to subscribe. Check out yesterday's vlog. Check out all 42 vlogs, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow.